So let's smell the Fever 54. Now this is really exciting. So you know, it's that it's there's the rosiness in there. There's a, there's a darkness and there's a depth. Mm, good. With the perfume, because it's quite feminine, but it has like musky flavours and uh, red woods. I was thinking about making a drink around this. So I've got 45 ml of Tanku Tin. really nice about this is immediately with the colour. Wow, like that's like one. nothing else I've ever tasted. It's a bit like with music, when, when you're, you know, music has the same language as fragrance. You talk about the accords and the notes and then the fine tuning of it. But you've done exactly that in this amazing drink. So then you've got old books, which is kind of, see, it's much more intelligent. It's, it's got a lot of history and heritage to it, but it also is quite eccentric. The main when you smell it is the smell of that when you pick up the old book and it kind of falls apart in your hand. Oh wow, that's amazing. Where's Mr. Betty there? The whole idea is that you have that kind of, you know, he could be there today for a minute and then he's gone and leaves the trail behind. This is exciting to try this. But that one's the most, uh, it's definitely the most masculine drink. Mm. This is really interesting because this is actually the most similar to the top note. You've got the freshness as it goes into your mouth, but then it goes into the real smokiness and that depth. 